clouds above the emptiness Got a brand new plan Forming like a silhouette Our eyes are looking up Gonna get what we want Our time to overcome the stars I am Anna Rumbawa So today I will be sharing with you Um, one of the recent food pack programs that we've actually done for a place in the Philippines called Silvino Lobos. So Silvino Lobos is actually one of the poorest area in the northern Samar region in Visayas. And about 70% of the residents in Silvino Lobos are actually below the poverty line. This place is known also for being battered by insurgencies in the land and there has been really lack of sustainable source and access for food, healthcare, social services, and regular source of income that's sustainable for the community. The end, together through it all Even if we break up and our eyes are looking up Get what we want, our time to overcome. Whenever someone gets sick, do not have that outright access to healthcare. Much of its road infrastructure is still a work in progress. So the ins and outs to the community, transportation, access to basic necessities such as food, healthcare services, hospitals, medicines, and others is very limited in this part of the country. The program has been very helpful for the community because if you can already imagine, aside from the major opportunities and infrastructure, the poverty rate in the area, the effects of the pandemic, all these systemic issues that really impoverished the community worsened. One of the things that I personally learned working with our local partners um, in that community is that even with the common necessities such as eggs, I've talked to a few stores, convenience stores, groceries in the area, big and small. And if you would actually talk to the owners themselves, which are the nearest that you can find, even the basic eggs they do not have. So that is how struggling it is for the community in terms of access. So with the food pack program, we were actually able to find a big grocery chain um, side in the city, probably about two hours or more in terms of land travel to Salvino Lobos. Looking at the community, hearing from our partner volunteers on the ground and knowing their situation, this necessities, these food packs actually really help them to address the, the very basic that was already lacking in the community. We were able to actually give them quite a few of, of the supplies that would have lasted them for quite some time, for, for a few weeks. We are glad to report that in terms of the program outcome, a total fund of $1,600 was actually allocated for, for 40 families. So we were able to allot about $39 of food packs, worth of food packs for the families. One story is that while I was actually coordinating with, with our partner volunteers on the ground, we, we thought that we would have to rent what they call habal-habal, or these are like um, motorcycles, which is a primary means of transportation in the area. Part of it, you have to kind of uh, cross a part of the river. The roads aren't concrete, lots of mud. So we were already strategizing how to bring 
those 40 food packs from the supermarket we found. So that would actually mean renting out 40 motorcycles, 40 habal habal. But at the last minute, due to the immense efforts of our partner volunteers on the ground, we were able to find a truck to rent. And so we were able to really secure all the food packs, we were able to transport them from the city to the community. With that, we were actually able to allocate most of the dollars to the food packs overall that really directly benefited these families. Nagusan po kami na papasalamat sa mga tulong nyo na kami po ay nakatagamtan ng food pack, lalo na po sa uh, bigas. Papasalamat ako sa Panginoon na sa mga taong kanyang ginamit para makatulong dito sa mga tao dito sa bayan ng Sibina. won't be able to really efficiently and successfully bring the help to the community without our partner volunteers who are members of the Cruciform Life Church and City of Light Baptist Church. Oh, I wanna feel something I just wanna breathe again Dive into the So these are volunteers, these are church members, um, their youth groups. Let me get back in my body. From the truck, walking to the community, passing through all the mud, carrying the sacks of rice on their shoulders, and really preparing the community, distributing lists and vouchers to the community, organizing the uh, giving in the community in accordance to, you know, COVID protocols to avoid any spread or event. They were the secret that we were able to really successfully pull off the project. And these are people with big hearts that are just wanting to really serve and help uh, the community where they are in. Something good. Ako nga po pala si Amabel. Isa po ako sa mga volunteer ng Seed of Life Baptist Church upang madala po yung mga food box dito sa bahay sa bahay. Itong mga food box po ay isang malaking tulong na po sa bawat pamilya upang mapunan po yung pangangailangan sa bawat araw. We're constantly in communication with them, doing check-ins with them, and exploring with them the possible sustainable opportunities that we can still do. Consumable help, for example, that food packs can bring. We're looking into the possibility of exploring livelihood programs for them. So with the food on their tables, maybe we could help them with that, with livestock, with agriculture, that hopefully could actually steer some micro businesses in the area and could help them as well. Thank you so much for your time. Again, I am Anna Rambao, sharing with you the successful project we've had in terms of the food packs given in Salvino do Bos, Northern Summer, Philippines. Thank you. Part of something good. Catching on.